<clears throat> Thanks everyone for um, showing up bright and early this Wednesday morning and um, welcome everyone online. Yeah, fantastic news for us uh, in International Graphite this week. We announced an, the commissioning of our first production unit down in Collie, so I'm looking forward to describing that for you. I will be making some forward statements and economic forecasts in this presentation, so please note the disclosure um, there. So International Graphite's developing two world-class assets here, here in Western Australia. We're uniquely Western Australian focused for the graphite industry. Um, you'll, you'll be very rare for anybody to find a company that's developing a mine and downstream facilities in the one jurisdiction. Um, and we're leading the way in that. Our Springdale Graphite project in the south coast of Western Australia and our planned um, battery anode facilities in Collie. As I said, we've uh, installed our first production unit in Collie and we opened that this week um, and we hosted a, a significant contingent of government uh, agencies on Monday to thank them for their role in building, uh, helping build our facility. There's a one and a half million dollar micronising facility there uh, in, our in the light industrial area of Collie, um, which has been now wet commissioned on um, imported graphite concentrates. We are producing samples for product uh, customer acceptance and sales, and we anticipate generating sales agreements for, for, for our um, micronised product later this year. Uh, and that'll underwrite the expansion of that facility to a 4,000 tonne per annum micronising facility. Micronising facil micronising graphite has a broad range of, of applications in battery energy storage um, and industrial uses, including thermal management, lubricants, engineered products, polymers, and cathode uh, ba battery cathodes. Uh, we'll be selling it to us both Australian and international customers. Uh, the average price we'll be receiving will be it's quite broad between $1,800 and $8,500 a tonne, depending on purity and, and, and other specifications, at a reasonably low uh, operating cost relative to those, to those prices. So it's a very exciting development for us. The significance of this for International Graphite is that it gets us into the marketplace for graphite well ahead of when one might get into it when fully integrating the mine to market operations that I'm about to tell you about. It'll establish a brand um, and, a, and as I said, a cash flow for us um, and be a real point of difference for International Graphite. Uh, we released a scoping study three or four weeks ago in respect to our, what we're recording, what, what we're describing as the integrated mine to market. Uh, strategy for the Springdale Graphite Project and Collie Downstream Processing. Um, a close up of Springdale on the south coast of Western Australia, just near Hopeton. Uh, we're on cleared agricultural farmland. We've got magnificent relationships with all the, um, the farm owners down there, in particular three that uh, our operations most affect. Uh, we are 25 kilometres from Ravensthorpe uh, Nickel Mine and just south of the Mount Catlin Lithia Mine. So it's an area that's well and truly um, used to dealing with both uh, mining operations and, and agriculture in, in, the one, um, in the one region. Uh, well su supported by infrastructure uh, and airport, 1600 metre um, uh, commercial airstrip just to, the, just to the north of our properties. Uh, we um, won Explorer of the Year last year um, uh, for the work that we did on our mineral resource. We inherited 15.5 million tonnes at just over 6% from Comet Resources back in uh, April 2022, which is the foundation of our listing. Uh, we've expanded that now to 49.3 million tonnes at 6.5% for 3.2 million tonnes of contained graphite. Uh, that's at a 2% cutoff. At 5% graphite cutoff, you're looking at 28 million tonnes at 8.7% TGC for 2.4 million tonnes of contained metal. A that's a significant inventory in the graphite, uh, in the graphite industry, so um, we've got more than enough uh, graphite there under, our, under uh, reporting at this point in time to advance through to full feasibility. But there is significant exploration potential on the properties. We've only explored somewhere in the region of 10% of our tenement areas. Uh, and uh, all of that area to the, to the north of the yellow yoke that you can see on that image um, is graphite uh, anomalies from aeromagnetic surveys that are yet to be tested. So there's areas of land on our tenements that are at least as big as the existing mineral resource that are yet to be tested. So I think we, could, we can very safely say that we've got decades of mining operations ahead of us down at Springdale. 
Um, the scoping study that released uh, last week, or a couple of weeks ago, I should say, considered a half a million tonne per annum uh, processing facility, a conventional open pit mine, uh, just on day shift only from a mining perspective. You can see there on the left hand side the drawdown of ind indicated resource. We've only modelled the first 15 years, which, uh, of which 72% of the ore that was processed came from the indicated category. Uh, as I said, once we uh, go and drill further, we'll, we'll upgrade that. Um, we know we have some 37 years of mine scheduling just on the existing mineral resource. Um, the average grade of the uh, ore that we mined over that 15 year period was just 9.5% uh, uh, TGC. Straightforward uh, graphite concentrator that, that's practiced all around the world, nothing unique about that particular equipment, no long lead items in there. So once we make a final investment decision for spring day, we're looking at a 12 month construction period. Um, which includes the ordering, um, manufacturing of equipment and delivery and installation. Um, what we're doing here is capturing the full, trying to capture the full value of the resource. The, the, the significance of that micronising facility that I referred to earlier is that it's the first process step in downstream processing for graphite. And it also results in, uh, when, when, we, when we go to the next stage, which is ferritising, it results in micronised byproducts being um, a part of the process as you get, move along towards battery anode material. Now, what, what we're doing down at Collie at the moment is essentially establishing our market for that byproduct for when we get Springdale in operation. So, not only is it uh, providing us really important cash flow for a development stage company, uh, it's also providing us with a significant brand, a customer base, and allow us seamlessly to move into larger volumes when Springdale comes online. The next step is the process of purification, which is taking a graphite concentrate from 95% to 99.95%, which is your battery grade material. And from there you go to a coated, which is your final uh, formulation for battery anode. We've established downstream processing R&D facilities in Collie. Again, one of the first companies uh, that's done that globally to establish micronising and spheroidising capability. We have a thermal purification unit. Uh, down there at Collie, we've produced samples both from um, imported concentrates and we are uh, producing samples from the Springdale drill core at the moment, which is showing that our sizing and distributions uh, are meeting market expectations for spheroidised graphite. The lithium-ion battery industry is driving all, all, all this battery mineral um, demand, as you're, I'm sure, well aware. Uh, I just wanted to show this this graph for two, two, two reasons. One is graphite's the most single most important uh, element by commodity in a lithium ion battery. Uh, roughly speaking, one kilowatt of hour requires one kilogram of graphite. And the other thing I wanted to point out is that we hear a lot about the lithium ion battery, um, uh, sorry, I should say electric vehicle sales um, quarter by quarter and how it can um, sometimes move up and down and doesn't necessarily meet expectations. The important thing on this graph is that back in 2021, the electric vehicle forecast sales for 2023 was going to be 14 million units, and that's a figure from the International Energy Association. They actually hit, according to Reuters, 13.6 Reuters million vehicle sales in 2023. So clearly the, the trajectory is um, consistent with forecast, and so I'd urge everybody when they're considering um, the electric vehicle market to think about the, the macro theme and not get too caught up in month-on-month in -month and quarter-by-quarter -quarter movements. This is a scoping study, integrated financial results, um, significant uh, earnings uh, potential for our fully integrated facilities. Uh, the results are, uh, were published in detail in our release three or four weeks ago, so I'll um, refer you to those. The capital cost for the concentrator at Springdale, $76 million, and then for uncoated material, another $124 million. Those numbers are consistent with um, estimates we put out back in 2023 as well. Next steps in 2024, uh, down at Springdale, infill drilling, hydro geotech permitting. We expect to wrap up the DFS by the end of this year for Springdale. Uh, with an ounce of luck, we'll have permitting completed as well, but that may t roll over into early next year. Uh, similarly, for downstream processing, we'll complete all of the feasibility work during the course of this year, looking to bring in um, equity partners and offtake during the course of this year to underwrite the funding of the business going forward. I think we represent excellent corporate value um, of just $26 million. Please do some research and peer, peer compare us to some of our, um, our peers, and, and I think you'll see some excellent value opportunities. 
Um, so just to finish in the highlights, we're producing myconized graphite in Collie. We are on the path to being a graphite producer, developing a world-class mine at Springdale in the best location uh, to develop mining assets and infrastructure assets in the world. Chris is all over me, so I'll leave it at that. Thanks, everyone, for listening. <laughs>